Good afternoon, guys. I am, to put it bluntly, fucked. <laughs> um, a local charity in town has just closed down their warehouse. The charity still runs, they're just trying to save on some money, so they've closed down the warehouse and they've been clearing it out. And one of my friends, in his infinite wisdom, accepted about 54 keep fit trampolines from them all brand new sealed in boxes um, for free because um, they had the charity itself had nowhere to store them so it was either give them to anyone who wanted them or skip them so I've got a big commercial skip container thing outside and apparently it's the fourth one um, so yeah most of it is some of it had bits missing that was there, but I think most of it went in the skip. Anyway, so I've helped him shift all those using his two bike trailers. And it took, well, despite 50 of these small keep fit trampolines, I think the guy said there was 54 in total ish, give or take. Um, it only took us three trailer loads, um, so two trips. Um, although there's some wood and other bits that my mate wanted as well, so he took this second trailer again a second time so he could um, load that up with the other bits. And I've got a few bits that very shortly I'm going to zip across to his and go pick up. I know he's not there, but that's all out back anyway, and I am knackered and I want a bath, and... At the same time, I want to get the back wheel in this so I can get it up the right way, at least. Um, but my friend's got an old Triumph ladies bicycle for me, which I'll go and get while I'm there. So I'll cycle across with the bike, with my little fold down bike trailer so I can just put um, some Christmas decks that I rescued out of the skip. All in good condition, they're not damaged or anything, and some of the. Um, ceiling trimmings are actually still sealed in packs. I just I was just having the nose in the skip and uh, saw those in top so I thought yep they'll do. I would have bought them back with me but the bag had split so and there's a couple of wheels there that have actually been sitting at his um, so long that I've actually forgotten. <laughs> I'd actually completely forgot about them until I walked around into his back garden and there they sat, still where I left them. <laughs> so he could have actually thrown those out and I probably would have still forgotten about them. I don't know how it slipped my mind because they're a nice pair of wheels, but it did. So I'm going to throw those in the trailer and I'll just walk back holding my bike in one hand and the lady's bike in the other. I could ride, but I think that's going to be a, a bit awkward. You know, ride m one bike and hold the other with a hand, because I'll have the little trailer in tow, plus this lady's bike has got two flat tyres, so that's not going to be very easy for it to roll. But it is a three-speed. Now, I haven't checked the wheel size yet, but I am hoping, because it's got this, looks the same size um, sprocket on the wheel as uh, this one, so I am hoping... That um, the wheel from this old Triumph uh, will fit in here is it in the 26 range. I've done the front wheel. That's in. Well, sort of. When I go down, or while I'm down at the shed later, I'm going to get a couple of washers because I need to put a washer on here and a washer on the other side, and then I can put the wheel nuts on and pump the tire up, and that's that one good to go. I'd like to get the same done with the back. Something, I can't remember how you get these sprockets off. I think there's a circlip or something. That holds it on. I can't remember. I might have to watch um, RJ the Bike Guy's video on how to dismantle one of these. Because um, despite all the years I've been tinkering with bikes, these haven't been a common one, so I'm not 100% familiar 
with uh, how to take one of these apart. <laughs> I'll put them in a bike and I can fix the bikes themselves, but not the actual hubs. What will I do with that wheel hub? Probably cut it out of that wheel because the wheel rim is pretty much knackered anyway. So I'll take the wheel take the wheel out. If I have to swap sprockets because the other wheel don't fit, then I will. But if not, I'm just going to cut that hub out and give it a good old clean and put it on eBay. And even though it's a 1982 hub, it should, if I can clean it up nicely, should make about £10 on eBay. Um, and what will I do with the wheels that come out of the Triumph? Put them back in the Triumph, apart from the front wheel. Because that is shit. So depending on that hub, what that hub is, and I might nick that out of there as well. But, uh, yeah, the back wheel's not too bad. <sighs> um, so I would actually like to get a pair of wheels back on the, the um, Hercules, so I could have that at least rolling for the time being, and until I get that done and decide what I'm going to do with it. I mean, I could just say bollocks to the Hercules and cut the hubs out of the wheels on that one as well and put that on eBay, but I don't know. Because that'll uh, give me a few decent parts, just like this old Triumph wheel. Um, I think the calipers might clean up. If not, I might keep them. Well, that is a daft thing with old bikes like that. You know, I paid a tenner for the whole bike in the condition it was in. But even if it was in fully work and order, you still would have only got over here thirty quid max, thirty pounds max, um, and that might be pushing it because that frame is a bit in in perfect condition. So someone may only would have may only would would buy it for parts or something, but. If you actually, if I broke this bike for parts, I don't actually know if I could actually sell anything on it because it would be odd stuff. A lot of crank looks the same, um, but the calipers would clean up and sell the brake calipers. Then I'd have had both wheel hubs. I know for a fact that will be the same number of spokes as these wheels, they're just a different size. Um, so I know this, these um, hubs... That's the exact sound you want one of these hubs to make. Good click. It's a sign that the pulls are good in the wheel hub. Same with the free wheel, you want one that makes a good loud click. Just like the new and the brand new bicycle mountain bike wheel would do, free wheel. I actually love that sound on these old bikes. <laughs> anyway, uh, well, I know my friend is out, but like I said, my bits are sitting around back anyway. Um, they're not actually in his garden; it's there in the communal area, so. Uh, uh, I wouldn't wait till this evening when he's back, but I am knackered after pushing two trailers full of trampolines. And I want a bath because I stink. And I just want to chill this evening. So yeah, I didn't go to Mum's today as planned. <laughs> um, but I'm not going to actually end the video yet. So I'm going to go and get this stuff. And like I said, I'll drop the back wheel out if it's a 26 size wheel. If not, I'll be chopping that hub out of that wheel, <laughs> and that one, and I'll just use this one in here. So, I didn't think to check the wheel size while I was over there. Oh yeah, I've got this thing. I need to com contact, contact, contact someone at the North Walsham Heritage Centre, which does, um, basically it's a heritage centre, or the heritage group, I think it's actually called, they deal with um, the town's history, because we've got a lot of history in this town. Um, 
And it is quite interesting, you know, I've lived here all my life. Hang on a minute. Ow! Did I get it? I think I got it. I had a long eyebrow lash hanging over me eye and that irritates me. Anyway. They had an open day recently where you could go in and you could see all the old photographs and from the days gone by, you know. I think some of the photographs I had there went as far back as the ninth, eight, probably 1800s actually. I think they had a couple there. Some really, really old ones they had there. And they had a few artifacts from um, businesses that were once in town many years ago. And um, Biggles got a bike that had this bell on. Now, I don't know if it's coming up, but it's actually got Sid Salmon, North Walsham, engraved in the top. Now, according to what we, um, or what Mum found out, there was a guy in the 1940s called Sid Salmon who had a bicycle shop in town. So I've got, I managed to get the bell off Biggles, and I'm going to donate this to the um, Heritage Group. I know it's only a small artifact, but at the end of the day, it's still a bit of the town's history. I mean, what are the chances that we'd actually find another one like that? Let me see if I can just give it a bit more of a clean-up before I donate it. But, um, yep, I'm going to give it to them. They can have it. <coughs> we don't have much in this town, but it's still my little town, you know? Would I ever move away? For the right... I'll try again. For the right reasons, I would. Um, well, I probably wouldn't move too far out of town. Um, I'd probably stay in the Norfolk area, but moving out of town, I think I would if I had to. Apart from the city, because I'm not really a city person. Don't get me wrong, I like to go to cities like Norwich and London for a visit, but they're just too too much hustle and bustle, too busy, too everywhere just everyone just seems to want to go at a hundred mile an hour to get to their place wherever they've got to go, you know. Work, do the shopping, whatever. Now I'd I'd rather stick to the slower countryside personally. I mean if you like the city and you like living in the city, that's perfectly fine. I, I just don't think I could handle the city myself. Um Maybe I'm just too used to the countryside, I don't know. <laughs> um, but then again, we do get a lot of people from the cities move up to Norfolk and Suffolk and the rest of East Anglia, because um, it is quieter, so... You know, especially the older folk, they move up here to retire. Um, good on them, you know, good for them. That's what they want to do, I'm not one of these people that like my mum, for example, and that's what, one thing I don't like about my mum, really. They come up here and they try to take over the towns, and you know, especially when the older generation might move up here to retire and then try to join the town council, for example, of the um, of their favourite parish, or their favourite town, village, whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, mum's like that. She's weird. As they say, each to their own. I guess you could say I'm probably a bit more respectful in that sense, you know. I'll only hate on people if they've actually done something to upset me directly. <laughs> Other than that, I don't care who you are, where you're from, what job you do, what work status you are, you know, what if you're a bloody billionaire or a little pauper doing a part-time job. I don't care, it's what you like as a person. That's all that matters to me. If you're a nice enough person, I'll be nice to you. Uh, the same for respect. Actually, speaking of respect, before I disappear, someone on my Facebook shared a thing from that Kim Davis Again, she's still in the news, bloody woman. Um, and I've got a clue if it's true, you know, it was just a photo of her with a caption on it. So 
so you can either believe it or you don't believe it, it's up to you. I'm sceptical of such things. But anyway, this caption basically says she wanted people to respect her religion, even though she clearly isn't respecting other people's beliefs. Which not only would make, if it's true, it would make her a hypocrite, but I actually turned around and said respect is earned, not given. I'll respect anyone if they show me respect. You know, it works both ways. As soon as someone shows me disrespect, that's it. <laughs> anyway, I'm not getting anything done and sitting on my ass, pointing a camera at the door. I don't know why I do that. I think I've just got so used to doing it that way. So I can see all the clock and everything on the screen. Because uh, I don't have a flip out screen. So when I've got the camera this way, I can't see anything. I can't see if it's still recording. I can't see if the card's full. So if I held the camera this way too long, there's always a chance I could end up just talking to myself because the card's full. <laughs> Which actually I have done before. So... If you ever wonder why with this camera I tend to hold it a lot more that way, that's why. It's not that I'm really camera shy now, it's just easier for me. Cause, you know, this is just one of them um, cameras that are designed to take photos as well as video. So it's like a just a simple point and shoot thing. Even though it wasn't cheap when it was new, about four years ago. But... Um, it's probably outdated now as well, because it was, back then, 14 megapixel, which was also pretty good back then. But uh, I'm guessing nowadays... What have I got VGA up on the screen? I don't know. don't care, either. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, nearly 20 minutes, so I'm going to turn the camera off and disappear and get those bits. <sighs> it's going to be rush hour traffic, but I really, I'm not in the mood to give a monkeys, to be honest. I've already seen some dipstick coming down on the wrong side of the road. But uh, if I remember, I'll go into that when I come back. So, adios for now.